this sort of exercise with a straw chopper. The sad news, yesterday they took the Kenem away. No more Kenem. Welcome back to the channel. This morning we're feeding the calves another day. Feeding this lot. And there's no milk for you guys this morning. It's all just going to be food today. So we've got some compound feed from Mole Valley Farmers. Also as well, they need bedding down today. So we sold the straw, straw blower to help pave the manor too. So, um, and also it was getting on quite a bit. It was about five or six years old, which isn't very old. But for a straw blower, there's a lot of parts on them, wear and tear. So maybe in the future we'll get something else. Uh, maybe like a telehawk or something like that. But at the moment, we've got the manor too, so we can just bed them down with the muck grab. So they're all doing pretty well. We did have a little bit of a trouble with 722, who we thought had a bit of pneumonia. Uh, injected 722, now she's fine. But you know, you have got to keep an eye on, on these little calves, making sure that they're all all right. And now, of course, they're not having milk, so they're, they're just coming up to 12 weeks old, so uh, they don't need any more milk, and they can be on the hard food. And if you guys could see me, a massive favour as before, give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Right. Breakfast time for you guys. Right. For you guys and girls. troughs I could put in but these old ones are just doing it for now so there's no point using the new troughs just yet. Just a 25 kilo bag there of uh, compound feed, calf rearing food and they absolutely love it. Uh, they're quite small pellets so the calves can, can nibble at them, can eat them and can ingest them um, and then as they get a little bit older we'll put them onto some bigger nuts like the nuts the rest of the cattle have. So that is them just looked after for the rest of the day. I'll give them some hay in a bit as well. And then like I said, we'll bed them down. Okay, so we'll just start the manor two up and we'll get the straw to bed them down with. Manor two, handling your world. First job of the day though is scraping up the yard. I used the manatee with the bucket just to scrape all the muck up from uh, the night before. And it works pretty well. I could use a scraper tractor, uh, but I mainly just use the scraper tractor for the edges of the cubicles. So, um, you know, if you've got a manatee, you may as well just use it. This is what the manatee is really good for as well, is getting near the edges. And sometimes with the scraper tractor, the back wheels spin because she's only two wheel drive, whereas the manatee is in four wheel drive all of the time. And there goes the Bartlett's lorry with the carrots. And there she is, the livestock box. I've got my buckets here for feeding the calves. So I've got the older calves to feed this morning. And yeah, she's standing quite well, the, the stock box. I think we did quite a good job of dropping her off the other day. If you take it off slightly in the wrong angle or the wrong way with the legs, uh, it, it can fall over, even in a shed. So I'm happy we've done a good job. Right, that's what I'm going to use today is the manatee to take the calf feed out. Because sad news, yesterday they took the Kenem away. No more Kenem. So Honda, if you're watching, I'm uh, in the market to look at a Honda. Yeah, because my contract with uh, Kenem's up, I'm allowed to talk about Honda now. So I've been, I've been looking at the Pioneer, so uh, that's, that's definitely next on the list to try and possibly even buy. So, uh, nice little pioneer there. Looking forward to it. It's nice to talk about Honda for a change. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. And elsewhere on the farm this morning, there's the JCB loading up the elevator from the sugar beet. And there's dad just with the Richard Weston there. And he's going to be taking a load back to the farm to feed to the cattle.
dad's just said he wants a bale just putting by the beak so that it doesn't spill anywhere so just dump an old heston next door to the trailer and then hopefully the beak will stay in its place okay so let's see how that tips out now hopefully you can just see where i put that old bale the beet's not going to just spill off into the side now so it's a bit higher in sugar sugar beet than fodder beet we'll probably feed a little bit less of it out or we'll mix it in with the fodder beet that would probably be the best idea she's an old girl this western she's an old girl but she gets the job done maybe one day we'll upgrade it but for now she does the job she does the muck carting the chip carting gets everything transported and moved where it needs to be and i like richard western trailers they're, they're good solid trailers made in suffolk just next door to norfolk here you know good local locally made trailer these are the ones we brought in the other day oh i'm gonna reach out and grab one grab up don't put that grab down on it <laughs> so yeah no more cannon but we've got a honda back on the farm honda four tracks good little quad so here you go calves we've got a bale for you Cracking old job. Come on, hop, 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 hop. Come on, out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way. Nope, <laughs> do not go near the bale. That's it. Cheers, Dad. There we go, that's the net wrap off. So I'll just spin that up, chuck that out. They love a bit of fresh straw. You don't get this sort of exercise with a straw chopper. knock that core about it's my favorite calf this one hey, great temperament and they're all pretty tame really they're all pretty chilled out you know nice to see them bedded down get them a bit of hay later and some more nuts and they'll be well away right there we go <laughs> and yes i know i need a i need a haircut so yeah, I hope, hope all you guys are doing well in these strange times. Hope you're enjoying watching the videos, all of the content. I'm actually running out of storage on this camera today because we've, we've been filming so much stuff. Um, but yeah, looking for, lots to look forward to. Hopefully the, uh, the Honda Pioneer will be something um, worth pursuing with Honda UK. So uh, that would be quite interesting. It's, it's very different to the Can-Am. It's, it's very slim, very light. It's, it's, ve it's very much like the Honda Quad Bike, just with, with front, a front row of seats and uh, more power. You can do 50, 60 miles an hour on the road, which will be handy for checking the cows. Of course it's petrol so you know it's, it would be ideal if it was diesel because i could run it on the obviously the farm fuel but um yeah you know it's just one of those things the canon was petrol we we just went to the garage with it got it filled up so um honda pioneer will probably be um a good replacement let me know in the comments what you guys think um we should get next a honda pioneer a john deere gator maybe um or a kubota right i've just rang the barber and i'm gonna get my hair cut this afternoon which is i'm, I'm looking forward to Play a bit. And if you guys could do me a big favour and give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much for all of the uh, other likes in all of the other videos we've been doing. Uh, so thanks very much, really appreciate that. Um, so I've now got to go and uh, finish off the calves, give them some more hay, uh, put all the equipment away, put the machinery away, fuel up for the night, and then go get my hair cut and do a bit of Christmas shopping as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you guys on the next one.